Ladies and gentlemen, real quickly before we dive into today's story video, which I'm not going to lie, maybe a little bit biased, but I think is one of the best ones I've ever made and honestly one of the most interesting ones that I have ever made. But before we dive into it, I just wanted to let you guys know that for the next couple of days, drops are still live on Twitch for Modern Warfare, which means you can earn the in-game items that you're seeing on screen here for free. All you got to do is come and check out the live stream. First link down in the description. And as soon as this video goes live, I will be streaming over there on Twitch. So if you want to earn some in-game items, Simply click that link down in the description and hopefully I see you on Twitch tonight. The second thing is, is I was recently looking on my analytics on YouTube and I found that only about 16% of you who frequently watch my videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you like these story videos, you like what you see on the channel, want to stay up to date on everything, the best way to do so is by hitting that subscribe button and if you want to be notified, turn those notifications on. So now that we got that out of the way, let me shut up. Let's dive in to the story this week. So the idea for today's video began a couple of weeks ago when Modern Warfare 2 Remastered was released. And in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, they added in an Easter egg of a character known as Yuri that wasn't originally in Modern Warfare 2, but was added into the mission No Russian to complete some of the lore for the Modern Warfare universe. Now, when I made this video talking about this Easter egg, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a full story of Yuri, simply hit that like button and my god did you guys do so and that is why we are making this video today but as far as yuri goes in my opinion he is one of the most influential characters ever in a call of duty game that is barely in the call of duty series modern warfare which makes him incredibly incredibly interesting so without further ado let's dive in to the full story of yuri yuri my friend you never should have come here. Now, as far as Yuri's early life goes, we don't really know too much about him. We know he's around 5'11", he's male, he was born in Russia or the Soviet Union sometime around the late 1970s based on other events in the games. Other than that, we don't really know much. All we know is that he was introduced to the crew through Nikolai, who has been in all of the Modern Warfare games. But, as far as his story goes, it actually doesn't start until the third game in the trilogy, Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 begins right after Modern Warfare 2, where General Shepard stabs Soap in the abdomen and he has some lethal wounds that need to be tended to. And at this time, Price's team has kind of been dwindled down after the death of Ghost and Roach, it's now pretty much Nikolai, Price, and Soap. But a new soldier has been added to the crew. When the crew goes to a safe house in India, Yuri is introduced to Price. And under dangerous circumstances, Price really has no option but to accept him right into Task Force 141 and have him by his side. Now, in the mission Persona Non Grata, you actually start playing as Yuri, and he's kind of the Task Force 141 character you play for the rest of the game. And in this mission, the safe house is attacked, and you... Price, Nikolai, and Soap narrowly escape with your lives. Now, things don't start off so great for Yuri and the crew. In the next mission that they're in called Back on the Grid, basically, you're in Sierra Leone with Price and Soap, and your mission is to find some of Makarov's supplies, find them, destroy them, so Makarov kind of has less to work with. Unfortunately, things don't go according to plan, and Makarov is not there, and the helicopter ends up escaping with all of the things that you were going after. Now, at the time, they didn't know what this cargo was that was getting away from them, but it turns out if they could have stopped that helicopter, it could have literally saved thousands of lives, because what was inside that cargo was actually the gas that Makarov was planning on detonating across the world. However, in Task Force 141's next mission, they are sent to Somalia to find the man who created the gas bombs that Makarov used. His name is Warabi, and in this mission, they actually manage to track him down and use some pretty advanced interrogation techniques to find out exactly where Makarov is. Look familiar. Our contact with a man named Volk! We never met Makarov! Where's this Volk? Paris! He oversaw the delivery of Paris! 
Now, with the name of Volk, Delta Force is able to figure out where the exact next location of Makarov is going to be, and that is a location in Prague. So, Task Force 141 sneaks through Prague and ends up getting a vantage point on where they think they can find and take down Makarov. But little did they know, Makarov, as usual, was one step ahead of them. And instead of taking down Makarov, this is what ended up happening. What the hell? Price, who is that? Kamarov. I'm sorry, Price. Captain Price. At Rzdjotibia. Price, get out of there! Hurry, my friend. You never should have gone here. Who the hell's he talking about? Get out now! And that may be one of the biggest twists in the Modern Warfare franchise, maybe next to General Shepard being a bad guy. But as far as this twist goes, there's another layer to it, because after one of the saddest scenes in any Call of Duty game after the death of Soap, Soap reveals to Captain Price that Yuri knew Makarov this entire time. And as it turns out, the roots of this go back way further than many of us may have thought. So why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? I was young and patriotic when I first met Vladimir Makarov. So the backstory of Yuri brings us back to Call of Duty 4 in the year 1996 in Pripyat. This is the mission where Captain Price was set to kill Imran Zakaev by shooting him with a sniper rifle. And in this mission, as we know, Price is unsuccessful. He shoots off Imran Zakaev's arm, but does not kill him. But as Imran Zakaev gets away, he gets into the getaway car, and as it turns out, inside that car is both Makarov and Yuri. At the time, Yuri was a Spetsnaz soldier and very loyal and patriotic to his country. And at the time, Imran Zakaev and Makarov were working on a new company of soldiers known as the Ultra Nationalists, basically a ultra patriotic group of soldiers. And that stood out to Yuri as something that was good. So in this time, Yuri decided to join the Ultra Nationalists. But as Yuri says, power corrupts. And the next thing that we see from Makarov and Yuri is quite the jump from just working for Imran Zakaev. Once again in Call of Duty 4 in the mission Shock and Awe, one of the biggest twists in the game is as your soldiers are escaping, a nuke goes off, destroying an entire city in Iraq and killing over 30,000 American soldiers. As it turns out, the people behind that were Makarov and Yuri. But this was the beginning of the end for Yuri. In Modern Warfare 2, we see Makarov planned an attack on Zakaev International Airport to spark the start of World War III. But this is where Yuri drew the line, an attack on innocent people, not soldiers. And Yuri decided to make a stand. Instead of continuing the fight with Makarov, he tried to alert the FSB about this attack. However, Makarov, as usual, was one step ahead, stopped him from contacting the FSB, and shot him in the parking garage of Zakaev International Airport. Nothing can stop this. Not even you. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, originally in Modern Warfare 2, Yuri was not in this mission, but in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, they went back and put him in to kind of complete the canon, and that is where we saw him at the beginning of the video. But going back to Modern Warfare 3, Captain Price decides to give Yuri a second chance, a chance at redemption for the things that he did in the previous Modern Warfare games. And in doing so, the next mission that the two go on is to save the Russian president from Makarov. And they successfully do so in this mission, but then in the final mission, the two of them, Yuri and Price, end up going after Makarov. And in a big chase scene going after Makarov up to the roof of a building, they finally get to the top of the building where Captain Price jumps to a helicopter to take out Makarov. And once the helicopter crashes back down to the ground, there is a fight that commences between the two of them. And when all seems lost for Captain Price, someone comes to Captain Price's rescue. And believe it or not, just like that, Yuri is dead. That is the end of Yuri, but he got his redemption. He ends up saving Captain Price, and Price ends up being able to finish the job on Makarov. It is a actual really good redemption story for Yuri. He comes full circle from working for the ultra-nationalists Imran Zakaev and Makarov to saving the lead member of Task Force 141 and bringing an end to the reign of terror that Makarov has put on the Earth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not only the end of Yuri's story, but also the end of the Modern Warfare 3 trilogy. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the full story of Yuri, a character that technically was only in one of the three Modern Warfare games, but had one of the biggest impacts out of any of the main characters. It's an interesting story of redemption that hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, it is always appreciated if you do hit that like button. You can feel free to let me know which characters you'd like to see me cover next down in the comments below. And as always, if you like what you see here, want to stay up to date on all my videos, the best way to do so is make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you turn notifications on and until next time peace out